My name is Tracy Orr. I'm a professor of sociology, and I'm at St. Cloud State University since 1998, so 24 years. I'm also the director of the St. Cloud State University Community Gardens. Can I give you a little background on the garden in, that's gonna be a, be a challenge, right? Because it's the garden has evolved in a lot of ways. So the garden started officially, we broke ground in 2005. We started our first season in June that year. Um, and it started basically because I wanted to leave St. Cloud. I had been here uh, since 1998. So I had been here for six years in 2004. And I had been taking students to Detroit to work with a project called Detroit Summer. So I spent a lot of time with that project and a lot of times going other places. And in my time at St. Cloud, it wasn't that the community was unwelcoming, but that everybody really had their own communities already. And I was finding it difficult to find my own community here. So um, I was thinking about leaving. And when I was in Detroit one summer working with that project, um, my mentor at the time, Grace Lee Boggs, asked me how things were going. And I said, it was going horribly here because I felt like I didn't have a place. And she essentially asked me, what was I doing to fix it? And so I, needed, I realized at the time that I had been taking my students to Detroit to develop these projects and fix their own communities, but I wasn't doing it in my own community. So I realized I needed to do something here. So to be in, involved in our garden, all you have to do is show up. Uh, there's no application. You get a little orientation in terms of we show you where things are, show you where the tools are. And as long as you follow our rules, which are, you know, when you harvest, leave some for others. Uh, uh, keep in mind you're a member of a group. So um, anything that you're doing, you're welcome to do. But just think about how it might impact other people. Um, so it's, it's, it's a very kind of open and flexible. And one of our primary kind of sayings in the garden is that we don't grow guilt in the garden. So if you're coming for the whole month of May and you're working, but then you go up to the cabin in June or you get sick or you're not able to um, participate, it's not like we're gonna tell you you can't come back in July. So people come when they can and when they're able. We've got uh, diverse uh, students on campus. We've got diverse members uh, living in our community. So we grow a diversity of food in the garden the, uh, with an intentional purpose to reflect the community that, that we live in. I've witnessed people getting really positive, warm reactions uh, of, about the, some of the stuff we grow. And so I've tried to educate myself. I've used other gardeners who come and other people who come to the market trying to figure out what can we grow here so that everybody who comes into the space can say that's something familiar to me, that's a taste that reminds me of home. 